Our next topic is power. Power is the rate at which work gets done. It's like speed for work. It's also a rate of how much energy is getting used. The equation is power equals work divided by time. We measure power in watts. One watt is defined as a joule per second, work per time. Watt was named after James Watt, who was an engineer that invented the steam engine. We also have another unit for power, the horsepower, which is 746 watts. So here's a case where we're looking at two different people doing the same amount of work, 100 newtons of force applied over 2 meters, so 200 joules of work. But if you look at them, Jim does it in one second, Michael does it in 10. So Jim's power is greater, same amount of work, but in less time. So here's a sample problem. A light bulb does 200 joules of work every two seconds. What is its power? Power is work divided by time. The work done is 200 joules. The time is two seconds. 200 divided by two is 100, 100 watts of power. Here's a second example. A lawnmower engine has a power rating of 2,500 watts. How much work can it do in 10 seconds? So now we're solving for a different variable. Work equals power times time, and you get that by rearranging the power equals work divided by time equation. 2,500 watts times 10 seconds tells us that it can do 25,000 joules of work in those 10 seconds. One last sample problem. You push a box 5 meters by applying a force of 100 newtons. If you do this in 10 seconds, what is your power? This is a multi-step problem because first you need to figure out the work that you've done, the force multiplied by the distance. The force is 100 newtons, the distance is 5 meters, which tells you that you've done 500 joules of work. Now we can use that answer to figure out the power. Power is the work you've done divided by the time. The work is 500 joules, which we just determined, and we're dividing it by the 10 seconds that it took you to do this. 50 watts of power.